Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera to the both of my panel Sir Nur Muhammad Arif bin Brahim and Dr. Suhaila binti Muhammad Najib My name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Fazli My matrix number is B071710815 and I'm from BEEC Today I will present about my bachelor degree project which is the title of my project is Right Tomato Detection and Grading System Using Image Processing Techniques First of all, I want to thanks to my supervisor and co-supervisor Sir Shamsul Fakar and Sir Nizamuddin for guiding me and helping me to finish my BDP1 The table of contents Introduction, Problem Statement, Objective, Scope of the Project, Literature Review, Outline for PSM1, Methodology, Preliminary Results. So the introduction, tomatoes are the fruit that usually loved by consumers around the world thanks to its distinctive flavor, health promoting properties and rich nutritional content. Tomatoes have fiber, vitamin C, lycopene, and folate. For the fiber, tomatoes can avoid constipation. And for the vitamin C, it can help the, uh, fight the free radical which is can cause cancer. And lycopene can prevent the prostate cancer. And folate help to reduce the risk of heart disease. So the problem statement of my project is late manual works and various chemical substance will affect the quality of tomatoes. So uh, for the late manual works, it will bring the inappropriate taking care of tomatoes fruit uh, and various chemical substance, it uh, will use many substances to make sure the tomatoes get ripened. So uh, if many chemical, the quality of the tomatoes will be effect. So the objective of my project, to build up the ready tomato grading and evaluating system. Uh, next, to reduce agriculture labor cost. Uh, next, to recognize ready tomatoes dependent on a vision system. Next, the scope of the project. There is two requirement, which is software and hardware. Next, there are limitations for the system. One of that uh, is uh, the color of the tomatoes uh, are not too accurate to be classified. So, we go through to the literature review. Uh, based on my research, tomatoes can be categorized in six grades. Accordingly, mature green, bigger stage, turning stage, pink stage, uh, ripe stage, and full ripe stage. Uh, generally, uh, the advantage of tomato grading system are improve the quality of tomatoes by monitor it effectively and easier. The system also saving time and human labors. Uh, the, the disadvantage of the system developed is costly. There are also drawbacks in terms of complexity of the system. So this is uh, as we uh, as we can see, this is the six grade of the tomatoes. Stage one, stage two, stage three, uh, and stage six. So next, uh, the comparison method between methodology of previous project. So uh, here I take five uh, the previous method method. So first is so uh, first real time uh, tomato ripening stage identification system. Uh, the advantage is uh, quite precise, uh, but the drawback of the system is required more equipment such as AVR controller, uh, GSM module and so on. Uh, and the accuracy of the system is not stated. Uh, next, 
a cost effective tomato maturity grading system using image processing for farmers. Uh, the advantage is low cost and the disadvantages the cost inf ineffectiveness of the setup the accuracy is 98 percent so the, the algorithm of this uh, of this system they use four algorithm basically uh, color conversion segmentation of tomato noise removal and grading of tomato so the uh, i have been stated the references or the author the author of the this method, uh, method uh, in uh, in the report next is computer vision based fruit grading system for quality evaluation of tomato in agriculture industry so the advantages accurate and the drawback is first limited uh, limited capacity and second uh, does not effectively work on the tomato image with high specular reflection. The accuracy is 96.47%. Next, uh, tomatoes classification using KNN based on GSCM and HSV color space. The advantages is highest accuracy rate. Disadvantages more complex because they are used many of algorithm which is KNN, GLCN and HSV color space. Too many algorithm and the accuracy is quite high uh, which is 100 percent uh, next the methodology for fresh tomato maturity detection using computer vision uh, this is accurate and precise but the drawbacks is more dispersed and have more error uh, and the accuracy percentage is 99.31 percent So next, we go through the outline for PSM1. First, comprehensive understanding of the concept of the detection and grading of ripe tomatoes using image processing techniques. Next, deal with a literature review dependent on distributed article journal, research article and books for the peak team and territory. Next, recognize the problem statement in research and aims of the project. Propose an effective method for emulating problems relevant to project area. Next, writing the final technical assessment report as completion of the bachelor's degree project one. So we go to the my methodology. So for system overview. First, we start and understanding the concept of image processing and MATLAB GUI, which is graphical user interface. Uh, then we design software system uh, with uh, using syntax for MATLAB, then using webcam to capture image, uh, test run software, uh, and if the uh, if after run software is success. We, uh, it will end the process if failed it will re redesign the system and the hardware and software requirement for the hardware we use usb webcam and software requirement we use matlab 215a of the version uh, and graphical user interface so this is uh, the the important part the algorithm development for image processing. This is my algorithm development that I implement to my system. Okay, first, uh, start and capture a image using a webcam. So we use uh, we uh, enter the uh, use the webcam for our input. Then we use a color detection algorithm by ap uh, apply this algorithm the color position and color purity can be obtained so uh, the hue uh, that represent the, the uh, color and saturation for s and value for v so to detect the specified color 
it is necessary to define a tolerance in each HSV dimension. Next is background subtraction. To remove uh, this process is to remove most of the background pixel. So the image of tomato is easily processed. This is image composing. To mix a composite image from two pictures. Then we displaying the color. Uh, regardless the number of colors, uh, our system can display uh, can display the the high most pixel. So MATLAB can sh store and process image with very high bit depth. This image are uh, displayed based on system with 24 bit color. Next is uh, color quantization basically uh, this process will reduce the number of colors presented in an image uh, so the last part of the system rgb mean values is calculated and also calculate the color percentage of tomatoes so if uh, the color percentage is more than 80 percent of red color so it will display right so if uh, the color percentage is less than 40% which mean green colors it will display it will display not right and last uh, the result uh, and output of the color percentage so uh, it will implement to the graphic uh, in the graphical user interface. So uh, the output or the condition of the tomatoes, we can uh, observe the result. Are uh, it uh, ripe or not ripe? Okay, so the pre preliminary result. Since my system is not completed yet. The right tomato detection and grading system has been simulating by using MATLAB 215A and explain a further activity that will continue the algorithm and complete the objective. So in this part, I will show you the GUI that has been created to show from where user can get output and result. So the figure that will shown is my layout and my demo of graphical user interface. So this is my flowchart of creation of a GUI. So uh, to understand what client need to need the GUI to do. And next, we sketch the GUI format on a bit of paper. We just uh, we sketch the layout first and then we sketch the demo of the GUI. So uh, on the essential of the last cache, make the GUI utilizing UI objects. And next, we create the MATLAB code that is executed when a client connects with the UI. Then we test and investigate the GUI. So this is my uh, preliminary result. I just create my own graphical user interface for my system so uh, uh, we look uh, for the demo of GUI if we click to the capture image so the cam uh, camera of uh, or webcam will capture the image in the real time so after that we process the image then uh, at here we can uh, look for the result the type of grades that i create and we can look uh, if that the tomato is ripe or not ripe uh, lastly uh, if you have any question you can find me at uh, at my gmail firasfaisli1911 gmail.com and directly whatsapp at 013-601 six six four eight i think 